What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode on the Weston Smith Channel. Woo! <laughs> Jonathan doing John things. We're starting things off with the Guggen HQ today, man. Today's episode is sponsored by Carl's Bait and Tackle. We're going to be throwing around some new baits pre-release. You guys can pick these up in early June. Let's get into it, man. These things slay. That is a bass right there. Back with you guys today for another daily YouTube upload. We picked a windy one today, man. We are out here in North Dallas, Texas. We're hitting up a new pond with some new baits. I want to showcase these things for you guys. We're going to have a lot of fun. Might meet up with some friends closer to sunset. It's going to be a great day, man. Let's see what we got in store for y'all. Oh yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Brand new to the game, XO Pods. 3.5 inch cross style baits. Man, we're about to have fun with these, packed with the Bio Scent. This is a seven pack, you guys can pick these up. I'm gonna have them linked down in the description. We got some Alabama Craw colors, and we also have some black and blue flake. Standout stuff, which is great, man, because I am fishing some muddy water over here, windy. I'm gonna try and get these things right up in the reed lines, and we're gonna try and catch some hogs, man. Let's have at it. Y'all, it is so windy today. I'm gonna try my best to protect you guys from it. But, consulting with my ice box real fast, I need to grab a little T-Rig. These are 3.5 inch, so you know what? I'm gonna do something just a little bit different. These are like four and five out hooks I like to keep in here. Yeah, see, there's there's a minimal amount of body here to put your hook on. So like I said, those are four and five aughts. These three aughts are gonna size up better to these plastics. I'm gonna go ahead and Texas rig this thing right quick, and we're gonna get in the water. Oh, golly, that's how you do it. Quarter ounce weight, little baby hook. Hit them with the Palomar knot. And I'm thinking that darker black and blue style color is going to be what I start with because it's just so murky today that I need something with a big, bold outline. When you're fishing the muddy water, man, you got to go with those darker colors. Uh, these fish can't hone in on some of the natural stuff sometimes. Sure they can if you get it right in front of them. Natural colors in the clear water is going to help you get those bites where they're really keying into what looks real, what looks like a natural bait to them. Now, when you're fishing the stained water, you can get away with a little bit more. You just got to put something in front of their face that they can see. Oh, that's a hook. I gotta go get that. I think we're about good to go. Hook, plastics, ready to rock. As we have got this thing rigged up on that three-aught hook, it's perfectly sized for the body of this bait. Uh, which, by the way, the line, the bait, the hooks, you guys can pick all this up at Carl's Bait and Tackle. You know it's all linked down in the description below. This is some of the newest, latest, and greatest from the Catch Company. Perfect for spring and summertime, man. We're gonna be flipping in the shallows right here. It should be a good old, good old fun time down here in Texas. Let's get it done circled a bit of this place they don't seem to be up shallow and if they are they're not really munching so let's try a little bit deeper possibly well we just about circled this whole thing we got such a bad storm last night these fish are probably so stirred up i don't know if they would bite for anything today but we're gonna get on them we just got to find the right spot i think we need to switch locations and find some fish that are more apt to eat all right y'all spot number two and i almost want to bust out the frog over here midday it looks kind of frogalicious i got the backpack on me though we got a couple plastics in there definitely liking the first approach it looks much clearer i've had some good days here and some bad days here what's this one going to be oh my god there's a big mama right below us i don't know where that bass just went but it was right here underneath us Okay, maybe she doesn't like this color. Let's see how this one fares. Maybe this will make all the difference. Maybe it won't do anything, but I am quite curious now. Look at all this grass out here. Holy crap. Got him. Got him in the grass. There we go. All right. Right in that thick stuff, man. Sweet. On the craw. I knew they would hit, boys. Woo! That is a bass right there. On the new Exopod, man. Such a sick little bait, dude. Ripping it right through the grass. Alabama craw color. All right, man. And just like that, the first catch on the Exopod. Super sick. I bet you we can get some more in that thick stuff. And now that I found out they'll hit this color right here, I got a little confidence in it. Landed the first bite on these three out hooks. I'm feeling pretty good, man. Let's get this guy back in the water, try and get some more here. I'm gonna have to throw him out a little bit. Otherwise, I will. Uh, he'll just be in such shallow water. It's not gonna be any good. Let me get you out here a little ways, bud. Uh, you know what? You'll be fine. All right, we'll see you next time then. Adios. Back in the grass where he's having his fun, eating his lunch. I got a feeling they could be stacked in here. This is gonna be good. Sounds like Adele and Hunter are gonna come join me. We're gonna fish this for a little while and then we're gonna go hit another spot towards sunset, man. So it's gonna be a fun day. Look at this turtle over here. He's been watching me for a while. He is straight thugging. <laughs> just chilling. This just looks so good. Trying to eat it. I'm caught on a 
reed and that bass was trying to eat it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. I literally was just getting bites, but I was caught on a reed and uh, the bass couldn't get it off of there. That's irritating. And at the same time, just how it goes. Who we got? Devin. Yep. Oh, oh, he's actually pretty good. Oh, he's actually pretty good. <laughs> on the phone with Devin and I catch him. Uh, he's maybe two pounds. <laughs> Second one on the exopod. Adele and Hunter are on their way over, guys. It's about to be a bunch of fun. Look at this new bait. Just crush him. <laughs> All right, man. Let's get him unhooked. There we go. Swimming right off into the grass. Sweet, man. Let's get some more new baits, baby. New ponds. On the top side, there's an area that's recessed for your hook here. It kind of sits right there in that slot open. That's perfect if you're fishing some light cover or not really much cover at all. But what I've been doing with this thick stuff is I've been having the hook come up on this side. That way I can really expose the hook into the body right here and have more of a weedless operation going through this grass. I'm gonna go ahead and retie though. My line's a little frayed and we're gonna get this thing rigged up back in the water. Oh, just missed one. Big one. Gotta switch the color up on it because uh, she bit this one and that was it. Might only get one chance on a big one like this. She's pretty smart, I think. Okay, I think she disliked the orange even more. I'm gonna go back to the orange. missed her just had that one that looked like a four guys crazy she got the pinchers wow insane well we ended up spending like 25 minutes on her <laughs> that's how it goes she was big anyways we are on to the next spot man let's go hit it up all right y'all we just pulled up to the next spot i uh let me kind of flip y'all around had to put on the hoodie man because it's a little chilly out tonight what i mean not really but you know if you're me it's chilly so 67 degrees and it's going to get into like the 50s here shortly a little bit of a cool front coming in so you know let's fish adele's covering that pocket devon's right here kiddo's running around the back corner hunters over to the left and the old exopods right here in front and center let's get them that bluegill's got this thing or something jeez tearing it up <laughs> look at look at bluegill oh got one <laughs> <laughs> Exopods, multi-species dangleness. <laughs> That's funny. Well, I just want to be careful now because I know you're going to flop like crazy here. I'll just get you on the quick release. We'll see you, player. I knew I was going to get one of those eventually. Bluegill. Jeez, they're tearing it up. It's going to mess me up when I actually get hit by a bass. I'm just going to assume it's a bluegill. I'm like waiting to feel it out. <laughs> I'm probably going to get a big bass, just rod bender. Smash it. I might go try that corner down there real quick. Oh. Oh no, he let go of it. Had a bite. Oh, oh, I got one. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, this is good. Are you filming? Are you filming? Uh, yes. I can't, I, I can't see him yet. <laughs> catfish. Is it a catfish? Catfish. It went to the bottom. Oh. Come on. All right, that was an unintended catch. Uh, cast it over there, let the chatterbait go to the bottom. And I uh, was sitting here chatting with Weston, sure enough, reeling slack, feels heavy, got a catfish. Or is that considered a bullhead because it's yellow? You can touch it. He's slimy. Ew. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put him in the water. Here he goes. Bye. Oh no. My line was wrapped around the last guide on the rod and I just snapped off when I casted, but I'm, I'm pretty sure the exopod landed over here on the concrete. I'm surely missing my weight. There's no way that's still attached. I swore I heard something hit this concrete, but probably long gone. 
All right, guys, sun is setting. I'm switching things up. I broke off that one lure. So what I'm doing is I just tied on the buzz bait and uh, it's darker colored. So I'm just gonna add this to the back end just to give it a little bit more beef, a little bit more flutter. Maybe the bass can key in on this pretty good. And we're gonna see if we can get a sunset top water bite on this thing. Might just work out. And it looks pretty good with the XO pod on the back. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I might just get bass on this. Well, I thought the buzzbait thing was a good idea. Turns out, couldn't get any bites on it. I have no idea why you guys are even following this son of a gun. He can't catch shit for fish. You guys kidding me? Look at him. What the f is he doing up here at the Guggen HQ? Go catch some fish, you dirty bearded man. <gasps>